So today I'm going to show you how I edit videos for my YouTube channel. And uh, the fact is it's all pretty much for free. In fact, I've only spent about 20 pounds budget on making over a hundred videos now that you've been able to see on this channel. So I'm gonna reveal how I do it and how I edit it. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll be able to use the process I use for your business so that you can start making product videos or service videos for your business too. Hi, I'm Zane from Zanet Design and I help businesses like yours grow on the internet. So using my experience, using the things that I do, I'm going to show you exactly how I do it. So over a hundred videos now I've produced on this channel, most of those that have helped small businesses. But how much does it cost to make a video like this? Well, for less than 20 pounds, that's been my budget so far. And okay, it could improve if I put more money in, I could have greater equipment, better cameras, and we'd be able to obviously produce an even higher quality video. But really when we consider it, most businesses, small businesses, when they're starting out, they want to keep costs right down. So for less than 20 pounds, you can make a video like this. I'm going to reveal what equipment I use, how I edit it, and how I upload it to YouTube, and some of the processes I use as well. Uh, what type of pro uh, tripod I used, what type of camera I'm using at this very moment. And all those things come together to produce hopefully a reasonably good quality video that's going to be able to demonstrate the types of things that you can do for your business. So thanks for joining me. So just a few things to run through. First of all, the first thing is, is what platform you're going to upload your video to. So I recommend YouTube. Why? Well, you might want to upload your videos to other places like uh, Instagram, uh, TikTok. It may be that you, you perhaps support Vimeo, but all those things are OK. But YouTube, of course, is owned and run by Google. And so if you're interested in traffic, if you're particularly interested in building your Google My Business business up, then having it in YouTube makes sense. You can embed it. It's the biggest video channel. It's the one where people can subscribe to. It's the one where you can make sure that your uh, branding is reflected and integrated throughout the whole of your Google process. So whether you're blogging, whether you have a website, whether you're using Google My Business, YouTube enhances and supports those things. And Google always likes Google's products. So I would say make sure that the main focus is uploading your video to YouTube, which would require something like an, an AVI file or an MP4 file or a, an MOV file. Those types of files will work fine with um, YouTube. The second area I want to look at is just how do you enhance your videos so they look a bit more professional? So you need a kind of opening title, maybe a logo, as you've seen on mine. Uh, how do you get these things? Well, you can get them very easily, just for a few pounds, maybe a few dollars. Uh, in Varto, if you go to the area that's called After Effects, there you can see you can then download some of those titles, some of those opening uh, titles. And uh, just with a little bit of work, maybe with a trial as well with uh, using After Effects, if you don't have After Effects, and making sure you've got the right version, you can then uh, edit these, save them, and then start to use them. Once you've got the files, you can use them again and again. Okay, then the next thing is, this is the thing where most people think it's gonna cost a lot of money, but actually any modern phone will do. So this, this is a, an A70 Samsung Galaxy, and it doesn't cost a lot, it's just a few hundred pounds. I'll put a link to it down below that will show you where you can get it on Amazon if you did want to get this type of uh, phone. It does have a few extra um, abilities to, to take reasonably good high quality video, but you'll find that the built-in Samsung apps don't generally support a high definition video, even though the camera and the lens itself does. So I would um, recommend that once you've got a reasonably good phone, and it doesn't have to be particularly good, but just one that can do some high definition um, filming or movies, then the next thing would be to download a piece of software that's free called Open Camera. An open camera will just enable you to have a lot more control over the way in which you produce your video. So I found it's been quite useful. Uh, I've had to try a few things. You probably have to experiment. Some of my videos have been a bit blurred. Others have perhaps uh, lost a little bit of their crispness. 
Um, so things don't always go perfectly when you first start out making videos, but gradually over time, you learn from them. So I'm still in the learning process. I still feel even after 100 videos that I'm still learning how to use my software and my editing but that would be my next thing is just get a decent piece of software that gives you more control over your camera. And I tend to run my phone on a tripod with a mirror behind it so I can also see what I'm up to. And that's why I can have then good eye contact, which is really important. If you don't have good eye contact with the camera, then it feels like the person isn't talking to you. If I start just talking generally and lose eye contact, doesn't feel quite the same. So that would be my next thing as well, is just to make sure that you've got a decent lens on your phone and then get some software to run it. And open camera is certainly my recommendation there. So the fifth area is just to have a tripod. And um, I kind of balanced my phone on a few things, a few books in the past. Uh, I found a tripod, just a very small phone tripod for one pound in the pound shop around the corner. Um, so it's the type of thing you can pick up for probably four or five pounds on Amazon as well. So just get yourself something just to start with. It doesn't have to be a complete height one unless you want it to stand. But uh, this is just a small tripod. It's on my desk and it's a really easy setup. So that would be my next tip. So I'm just going to run through what we've got so far. Use YouTube. Use Envato for special effects and openers. Use uh, a camera or a phone camera. So it doesn't have to be anything special. Use a tripod, which you can get from a pound shop. And the software is open camera, which is what I recommend if you've got an Android phone. Now, this is really the main bit, is what editor do I use? There's lots of editors around. Uh, so depending on if you've got a Mac or a PC, I recommend using a laptop for editing. It's really hard to do if you're doing it on the fly or on a phone or a tablet. So if you can use a PC with a nice big screen, then you can get much better results. Now, I looked around and the one that I found really helpful was Shotcut. And I've just done a little bit of recording of me and how I go about editing my shortcut video and then saving it to MP4. So let's take a look at this. So to make a video, I always first of all just load up a blank version that just puts a few basic things in there for me. So here it puts my, my logo, for example. Uh, so that's always ready to go on the video track number one. There's also uh, the introduction to who I am and also a reminder to subscribe. And there's a few basic things that come in to start with, perhaps a little bit of text as well if I want that in. And this is like a top line. And then I then put my main video in here and then also my B videos, B rolls go in here. And that's pretty much how I start out every video. I'll either delete these or I'll move them around. And the nice thing with Shotcut is it really is quite simple. You can scale it up, you can scale it uh, more further a field you can drag things around so if you want this over to here you just move it and this is the area where you drag your, your videos so if I've got a video here for example I put it on there and then I can drop it down to here and then I get the sound bars I can detach the sound as well detach audio and I've got a separate audio field where I can edit out bits. If I want to edit out bits or put bits over and so on, I can do that as well. So for example, if I want this, um, let's just bring this up a bit. So if I want this to be over at a certain point, so um, let's go, if I press play. So if I want it on the word business, I can see pretty much where the word business starts. So that's, there you go, so we go back there. And I want, when I say the word business, I then want the introduction to me to start as well. And there you go. And it's just a case of then uh, if I want to edit things as well, so I can take this and if I take off the rotation and edit, it makes it in the center. So there's all ways of scaling and so on. Shortcut is just, just a very simple, very simple way of just putting a few tracks together and being able to edit it and make changes. And if if you really want to start out and it's free as well, obviously, then this would be my recommendation. So hopefully that's been useful. And my seventh tip is lighting. Now, a lot of people buy these ring lights. Um, I use just a, a window. So I put my desk next to a window and I can then film it based on that. And that gives me decent lighting. Now, because it's north facing this window, then it's a reflective light. So actually the light itself, rather than the sun come beaming in, I'm getting reflection off the buildings outside and uh, that in itself is a much better light. So the light I've got is uh, purely from the sun 
some dull days it can get tough so I do use other lights as well but I haven't yet in all my videos I've yet to buy more than a pound tripod uh, I've yet to buy a ring light which I may well do and uh, my software has been pretty much free so when you add all that together to make this video it's cost less than 20 pounds now I would suggest and I would challenge you that if you have your business and you've been holding yourself back from using video why not give it a go just get your camera out download open camera uh, and make sure when I say get your camera out get your phone out and then perhaps make up your own tripod even just to give a couple of efforts at seeing how it goes see what it looks like upload it to YouTube and within time if you start enhancing these videos you start perhaps learning from what went wrong you can have a higher quality video I've certainly got a long way to go um, and uh, my intention isn't necessary to to just make a highly polished video I think content is often important too. What I want to do is give value to you. And so I think sometimes we can be so hung up on the quality of the video and becoming like a film production team that we forget to make decent quality content. So if you like this content, please do subscribe below. Please recommend it to another business if you feel that they'll be useful learning how to make videos too. And hopefully this has been another useful video for you to share with your friends and with your other businesses. Thanks again.